How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to another Terraria 1.3 update video. So thank you so much for your support with the last video, looking at our top 5 favourite things in the 1.3 update. And thank you for getting involved in the comments and telling your own ones. It was really interesting to read some of the things that you think are awesome. And there were some that I actually forgot and I was like, oh that's a really good one, I wish I did that. Um, so just to give you an update, the move is almost finished. Uh, it's been a it's been a big journey, but we're almost there, which is really really cool. I'm looking forward to getting back to business, which will be awesome. So again, thank you for all your support during this time. It's amazing that you're all still watching. You're still you know being awesome in the comments. I really appreciate it. So the 1.3 update's been out for a while now and I've been playing around with all the new items and what I'm starting to realise is that while some are kind of cool, you get them and they drop from an enemy and you're like, oh that seems really cool, but when you actually go to use it, they're kind of not that useful or by the stage of the game you get them in, they're kind of a bit underpowered. So what I want to look at today is my, my personal, personal, Top 5 items that, while I think they're cool in the 1.3 update, uh, items that I don't think are that useful or might need a bit of an adjustment. So I'm really interested to think what, uh, hear what you guys think about this too. So let's get started with number 5. Coming in at number 5 on the list is the Hoplite Armor. The Hoplite Armor is dropped from, surprisingly, the Hoplites in the Marvel Biome, which is one of the new biomes in the 1.3 update. Now. I kind of like it, you know, it makes you look like one of the hoplites, it's really awesome, you know, if you're collecting the throwing, uh, some of the throwing javelins, it's really cool. My problem with the armor, guys, is that it has no set bonus at all. Uh, it only gives you 7 defense, and I think for the difficulty in defeating the hoplites and dealing with the medusas as well, it really, I think it's a bit of a missed opportunity. I was hoping it would have some sort of... Uh, throwing weapon bonus attached to it um, to really flesh out that throwing character that you know it's I'm kind of keen to play that class um, hopefully they uh, investigate it in the 1.4 update but we'll see how it goes but personally as it stands I'd be more likely just to make a silver set um, rather than collect this armor so that's why this armor as cool as it is is number five on my list Number four on my list is something that is seemingly a kind of cool item, but I, I found I never really use it. And it is the laser drill. Uh, the laser drill works by sort of, uh, it has an expanding sort of blade that mines blocks in a fairly wide range, which is kind of cool. One thing I find about it though is compared to a pick like the um, Pixar which you get from the golem, I find the laser drill is actually a bit slower and the extended range, look I'll be honest with you, and I do a lot of building in Terraria, I don't actually use it. So, I mean, I think when you have a newer drill and go back to an older pixel as your sort of staple, it sort of shows that the item is cool but perhaps not as useful. So I guess that's why it's number four on my list. It's, it's cool, I love how the blade extends and you can control it, However, I think just for real digging, I'm more likely to use the Pixel. Number three on my list is a new weapon that you can get in hard mode. And it's called the Life Drain, and it drops from the Crimson Mimics. Um, and it's kind of cool because it acts very similar to the Vampire Knives. So it deals damage and heals you simultaneously, which is kind of cool. And I thought, well, okay, so you get this around the time where you're looking to fight your first mech boss, right? Pretty cool. So let's summon the Destroyer, which is usually a boss most, uh, most players would fight first. And um, so, as you can see, he's got lots of health. And it's kind of cool because it hits multiple segments, which is nice. My issue with this weapon, and you can see it right now, is I'm actually wearing the Cobalt Mana set, which is for healing. And you can see that the mana just immediately runs out. Um, I think if you're going to have a weapon that's primarily for healing, and let's pretend I was using another weapon and then just swapped to the life drain to heal, it's not even fulfilling that purpose because it can't actually heal you quick enough or in a substantial enough way. As you can see, I'm actually fleeing from the destroyer because I'm about to die. Um, so, a cool concept of a weapon, but unfortunately doesn't heal... Ah, oh, and there you go, I've died. Um, it doesn't heal enough 
to be useful. And I know it's not, it doesn't have a modifier. I know I'm fighting a mech boss, but you know, if you're playing a magic character and you want this for healing, it really needs to have a substantial impact, which it doesn't. And that's why it's number three on my list. Number two on my list is an interesting item. And I'm just running around here with my platinum broadsword. And there's this evil, vicious crimson, and usually that'd be dangerous. But uh, never fear, everyone, because I have the Brain of Confusion equipped, and it is a an amazing weapon that confuses enemies and makes them run away from you for like three seconds. Now, compared to the uh, Corruption equivalent, which is the amazingly powerful Worm Scarf, 17% flat damage reduction. Uh, the Brain of Confusion, in my opinion, is such an inadequate uh, match for um, for the Worm Scarf, it's not funny. But as it stands, I kind of feel Brain of Confusion, number two on my list, really not useful. I've never used it personally. Um, if you've used it and in what situation, let me know in the comments. And now, the time has come to find out what the number one item I believe in the Terraria 1.3 update is whilst very cool, don't get me wrong, I feel is slightly underpowered and or not quite as useful. And look, it's probably no surprises here, but I just got this little gravity globe from the Moon Lord on Expert, and when you equip it and you push up, it swaps the gravity and you can make your world go upside down, which is very cool. Don't get me wrong, it's cool. It looks awesome. You can run around upside down and be like, Whoa! and have all that fun good stuff happening um, probably got some potential for adventure maps and things like that but if you think about the core Terraria gameplay what does it kind of do for it? I don't know I haven't really played around with bosses and stuff yet it's kind of like a gravitation potion I suppose that you have more control over because it has a permanent effect but do you really need a permanent gravitation potion after you've defeated the toughest boss in the game I don't think so what could be cool about this? Maybe when you equip it, it makes mobs even tougher still. Maybe it makes secret enemies spawn and makes the world even, you know, tougher to fight. I don't know. But is it awesome as it is? It's interesting. It's cool. But is it really the item that celebrates the end of Terraria 1.3? Not in my opinion. And that is why I'm going to put it here on its throne as the number one item that, whilst is cool, is not really useful in the Terraria 1.3 update. Let's have a quick recap. Number five is the Hoplite armor. Decent armor, but not really useful for the time you get it in the game. Number four is the Laser Drill. Slower than earlier pickaxes. And whilst is kind of cool, not really necessary. Number three is the Life Drain. Doesn't really do its job quick enough and is super mana hungry um, for sustained use. Number two is the Brain of Confusion, which whilst has a cool effect, doesn't really... isn't really useful in the thick of battle. As you saw, I was getting overwhelmed by Crim Slimes, which was kind of embarrassing seeing the armor I had on, which was full Vortex. And uh, number one is Gravity Globe, which while fun, and you can have a lot of fun with your friends, uh, doesn't really add much to the actual mechanic uh, gameplay and battles and all that good stuff. Okay guys, this is where you come in. I'm actually looking to see out there in YouTube land who has the best Terraria 1.3 worst item list. And I haven't really used the word worst. They're still cool items, don't get me wrong. But I just think they're not quite as useful as other options in the 1.3 update. So, in the comments, your job is to tell me your top five items that you don't really use much in the 1.3 update. I'd also like to see a reason why. So don't just go, oh, you know, meow meow, and then just leave it at that. I'd like to hear a reason. Like, do you think the damage isn't good enough? Do you think it's too slow or something like that? Um, as always, remember to be respectful of other people's opinions. If they think the Terrarian, the pretty powerful yo-yo is the worst item in the 1.3 update, that is their opinion. And I will respect it. And I expect you guys to too. Um, I'm looking for the best list, and I will have a small prize for the one I think is the best out there. So get cracking, guys. Look through your items chest and see what item you got and you've never touched, because it's probably not that useful. All right. Thank you for your support during my moving phase. I'm almost finished, as I said, and I really appreciate you guys for still hanging out with me each day, chatting in the comments, leaving those likes on the video. It really makes me happy, and it really gets me pumped to get straight back into it. 
So as I said, keep those comments coming. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed. We have a lot of fun here. All right, guys, here's the most important part. As always, you stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh, he's got 3,000 health! <laughs> he's only got 3,000!